Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to bypass Google verification on your uh, Realme phone in 2025. If your device was reset uh, by the recovery mode, then um, if it had a lock screen password and a Google account logged in earlier, uh, you'll see this screen at some point during the setup. And if you don't know the lock screen password, you'll need to go back. I'm gonna click on that copy. I should see a different, I think I need to click on cancel actually. Uh, then you'll see uh, the Google account login screen and uh, that asks you for uh, the account that was previously signed in uh, before the reset. If you don't know that as well, of course, if you know, then it's great to enter it and that's where the video would end. But if you don't know it, then it's gonna be a bit more difficult, but it's of course doable. So um, before that, also a little disclaimer, you'll need to have internet access with Wi-Fi. Another thing is that you'll need another uh, unlocked Android device that runs at least Android 12 that can be checked in the settings as you find about device in the settings somewhere and then you'll see the android version in my case it's 12 but if it's newer then it's good as well uh, now um, here in the phone you'll need to go back and also a little disclaimer that it may not work on all realme phones but it should work on most and uh, that um, the functionality of the phone may still be limited after that. But I'm gonna go back all the steps, make sure that you are connected to the Wi-Fi. And once you are in the first page, select language, click on emergency call. Then type in asterisk pound 899 pound. And you'll see the after sale page. Click on manual test, then slide and see camera. Now click on camera test, then take a picture. Once the picture was taken, click on it in bottom left corner, agree and continue to photos, then click on share. Now you'll see different share options and select the one that says Google search image. Once you click on that, click on the three dots in the top right corner and go to privacy policy. You'll get to Google Chrome. If you click on use without an account, simply click anywhere on the screen to hide this pop-up that showed up at the top and click on nine dots on the top right here uh, where you'll find Google search. Select it. Now accept everything and go to hard reset dot info slash bypass. Now go to bypass FRP website and scroll down until you find setting app. Now it'll open the settings. If you go to home screen unlock screen, you'll find home screen layout. Click on it and you'll get to home screen. But your device is still locked. Mm, to fix it, go to the other page on the home screen, find tools and find clone phone. Now on your uh, Android 12 device or newer, on the other device basically, you will need to go to the Play Store. In the Play Store, search for Oppo clone phone app and install it. Then click on open. <coughs> and now uh, you will be asked for a few permissions. Just permit to all of those then click on scan the QR code to connect. On the Realme, click on this is the new device. Click on allow, allow. And now select either Android or if you are using the other device, which is Oppo, Realme or OnePlus, you can simply select that and then the app doesn't even have to get installed on the other phone. But I, I'm using a Nokia phone, so I need to select other Android, scan the QR code. Now it'll start connecting. 
and select all of these besides apps. So unselect it, click on the select and repeat until there's only apps selected. Then click on next. Now wait a moment until it prepares data. Now click on apps like that. Unselect everything with the selection box in top right corner and select a not important app that has like the least storage. For example, calculator. Then click on OK. Now click on next. Agree and start migration. Wait a moment until it all gets migrated. Now let's wait a moment, here I can click on done. I can take that phone away and let's move on by clicking on done on the realme. Skip the password, click on later, then click on more and agree. And now click on done, click on get started and your device will be done. If get started button doesn't do anything, just light up. Now click on later in top right corner, yes, and it's done. Your phone doesn't have the uh, verifi verification lock anymore, but as I said, uh, the functionality still may be limited, uh, so there's a chance you may not be able to log into the Google account, and there's a chance you might not be able to set up uh, a lock screen password. I hope that this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next one.